The only people who get it, are the people who get it. Welcome to our comprehensive e-learning series, Understanding Regulation W. In this video, we're embarking on, a crucial building block for your journey into the intricacies of Regulation W. We'll tackle questions like what Regulation W is, dig into its definition and purpose. Explore its historical context and significance, and dive deep into the key terminology. That will be your guide in this regulatory landscape. So, what exactly is Regulation W? It's not just a set of rules. It's the cornerstone of financial stability. To truly grasp it, let's dissect it step by step. Let's kick things off by unraveling the essence of what Regulation W stands for. At its core, it's a framework of rules and guidelines orchestrated by regulatory authorities, with the Federal Reserve leading the way. But why is it crucial? Well, it ensures that banks and financial institutions maintain healthy relationships with their affiliates, and by extension, the entire financial ecosystem. Now, let's dig deeper into its definition and purpose. The essence of Regulation W revolves around two critical objectives. Firstly, it acts as a safeguard, preventing financial institutions from engaging in risky transactions with their affiliates, which could potentially destabilize the institution itself. Secondly, it promotes transparency and accountability in financial dealings, nurturing trust within the financial sector. To truly appreciate the significance of Regulation W, we must rewind the clock and explore its historical context. This regulation didn't appear out of thin air. It emerged as a response to past financial crises, such as the Great Depression and the savings and loan crisis. These turbulent events underscored the dire need for regulatory measures to uphold the integrity of the banking sector. Now, moving on to Lesson 1.2, Key Terminology. In this regulatory landscape, knowing the language is half the battle. So, let's decipher some key terminology that you'll encounter time and again. Here are some crucial terms and concepts to grasp. Affiliate. An entity controlled by, controlling, or sharing control with another entity. Extension of credit. The act of providing funds or credit to an affiliate. Which can manifest as loans, guarantees, or credit. Covered transaction. Any transaction where a bank or financial institution extends credit to an affiliate. Regulation W has its own lexicon, and getting acquainted with it is paramount. Terms like, qualified thrift lender, non-controlling interest, and, indirect credit extension, might sound daunting at first. But rest assured, we'll break them down in more detail in the upcoming modules. That concludes Module 1 of, Understanding Regulation W. We've journeyed through what Regulation W embodies, explored its definition and purpose, delved into its historical context and significance, and introduced you to key terminology. But remember, this is only the beginning of our expedition into the world of Regulation W. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay updated on our e-learning series. In Module 2, we'll take a closer look at the scope and applicability of Regulation W, unraveling its impact on financial institutions and affiliates. Thank you for joining us today. We look forward to continuing this educational journey with you. See you in the next module. Thanks for watching.